Hey learner organist, I trust that you've enjoyed the ta and tata exercises on the note middle C. Your cat should be so happy for those running and walking exercises. But wait, I have something to tell you. When you took your cat for a walk, your cat spotted the dog next door and decided to slip out by the back door to go play with the doggy next door. This brings us to our two new notes on the stem. The D in the right hand and the B in the left hand. Now remember, we said that the right hand plays the notes in the treble clef and the left hand the notes in the bass clef. Do you still remember that middle C lies on the ledger line between the bass and treble clefs? Great! We said that our cat ran out by the back door to visit our doggy next door. So let me show you the position of the B and D on the stay. Our B lies above the fifth line of the bass stave, right here, and our D below the first line of the treble stave. That is the position of B and D. For the purpose of our lesson, we're going to make our B stem go down and always on the left of the note head. And our D stem will go up on the right of the note head. And once again, stem down means we play with the left hand and stem up means we play with the right hand. Now we're going to take our cat for a nice walk out by the back door to visit our doggy next door. So we'll be using our walking notes, the toss. But firstly, we need to clap and say the letter names. Ready to do it with me? Here we go. And C, B, C, D. C, B, C, C. Great job. Now let's play it. Put both thumbs on middle C and put the remainder of the fingers on each white key. Sit tall and balance the elbows and just look professional. So just remember, Peter Pointer in the left hand represents the back door key, our note B. And Peter Pointer in the right hand represents our Doggy, no D. Got that? Oh, and please do not forget that left hand thumb plays middle C with the stems going down. Right hand thumb plays middle C with stems going up. So let's play it. Here we go. And C, B, C, D. C, B, C, C. Wow, amazing, eh? Let's do it one more time. Ready? And C, B, C, D. C, B, C, C. Great! I hope you use the left and right thumbs at the right time. That was such a lovely walk on our task. Do you think we could add some running notes too? I think so. In the following exercise, we have walking and running notes. I think the cat and dog is actually chasing each other. They're having so much fun. Let's first clap and say the following rhythm. That is our Tars and Tates. Ready? And ta ta te ta 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 te ta ta. Now let's clap and say the letter names. Ready? 
and C, 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 D, D, C, D, D, C, C. Well done. Now we are ready to play it. Hands in position. And here we go. And C, 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 D, D, C, B, B, C, C. Well done. You know what? I'm going to give you some homework. I want you to write your own exercises on B, C and D using ta and tate rhythms like we did here. There you go. Go and have some fun with our walking and running notes. See you next time.